Afternoon YouTube. Just got a phone call from a friend that they have a bee swarm hanging on their mailbox over in Oxford. Um, it's getting a little late in the year. It's hot and dry, but it's sw a swarm's a swarm, so we're going to go see if we can't grab them. So let's get our beekeeping game on and go pick them up. And if you look, here's John Grisham's place. Um, he keeps a home in Oxford. It's a, the big yellow house you're going to see back in there. He's got it fenced off and whatnot. Here's his entrance right here. You'll see his little gatehouse and it used to keep a baseball diamond there for the league team and whatnot. But I know it's not exactly beekeeping, but it's still kind of cool. Alright, here we go. Like I said, not a huge swarm. I imagine the queen's down in there. Let's see how well behaved they are today. Yeah, let me just try to brush them off in there. Go ahead and get a box here. All right, here goes. Tried to sweep them in there the first time. Kind of awkward with them up in that little decorative piece, whatever you want to call that. Go ahead and try to brush the rest of these guys in here. Come here, girls. All right, I'm not sure if I got her in there or not, but the bees are marching at the side of the box, which is always a good sign. They're not too bad, they're a little testy. I'm not sure how long they've been here. She said she came in from out of town and they were on her box. Gotta throw another couple frames in there to give them some place to call home, I guess. You can see, it looks like they're fanning. Oh my girl, there you go. Didn't even drop that. Sure, if that's where the queen was or if she was underneath. Well, I appear to have the march coming up there, so make sure I didn't pin anybody below there. No, I didn't. We're good. We're gonna try to brush these girls in real quick. Like I said, not a very big swarm. She uh, wanted to get her mail when she got home. That didn't work out so well for her. Sorry about that. There's my brush in the way. Alright, let's see if I can dislodge some of these. Couple of them trying to check me out now. Getting a little annoyed with me, I guess. You see, I have that feeder sitting there. I'm gonna, since it's getting so late in the year, I'm, I brought some sugar water with me. When I get these girls in there, I'm going to uh, throw that feeder in there and fill it up. So when they get home, They'll uh, have some resources there. Oops. Yeah, they keep wanting to climb back 
back up here, but I'm sure that's just because it smells like her. Finish wrapping these up real quick. Alright, here's what we got. Let's see, we do have fanning. And a good number of them up there. I'm just kind of letting them congregate there and then sweeping them off into there every now and then. I don't really have any of them on the grass, which is good. So they're either climbing in or taking off, so. So they're a little testy, so I'm just sweeping them off and giving them some stay, space for a minute. Made a minor adjustment here, get this a little closer to them. Hopefully they'll uh, crawl in that way. You can see they're starting to go in the entrance. Which is ideally what we want. I don't want you, he might pop me his little wasp or something. Yeah, you can see them. They're bridging the gap there. They're starting to come over. I've got a frame of nasty old comb in there. And two new frames in there, so... I may go ahead and throw that lid on here to keep them in. They appear to be going in on their own though, so that's that's a good sign that she's in there. They're they're heading inside. So you see, I've got this cluster of them building up right where they want to cross that bridge. I need to wish I had something to bridge it the rest of the way. I may slide that around a little bit. Starting to get a little close to dark. I may, uh, I may throw some smoke on them real quick. See if I can make them want to hurry up a bit. Nice thing about living in Mississippi: never too far from smoker fuel. All right, let's see if I can give them a, a whiff. Make them want to march. Yeah, they're all fanning at the door. It's one of those little uh, quick and easy plywood nuke boxes. Last few bees here. Peek in our box, make sure I don't have a something to. Nope. So they don't try to go inside. Puff. And that's about all of those. About to go bungee strap this thing closed, throw it in the truck, see if I can't get home before dark. Alright, here they are. Like I said, not a huge swarm. But it's a swarm. So we're going to see if they, they take or not. Let's see. Let's a quick peek. It's getting warm in the hives. They're hanging out front. Here is a, hanging out a good bit. That's it. So hopefully that uh, 
this swarm sticks around I'm going to uh, seal it up with some hardware cloth here in a second just to keep the queen in I don't want them to swarm again on me but uh that's it so I appreciate you watching hit like hit subscribe we appreciate it take care